right. Um, hello, everybody, and uh, welcome, welcome to the stream. I'm your caster Reina here, together with uh, Marcus Trindade. We, um, by chance, uh, actually did a uh, new factor against Endgame the last time around as well. That was the TPM FA Cup final. So we're back here for just the same, uh, same sort of game. Hello, Reina. Nice to be with you again, as always. I like to be with you. And I hope we can have another great match. Yeah. Uh, talking about the importance of this match, in fact, uh, theoretically, all three top three teams are actually on 43 points right now because uh, New Factory is meeting Comoros in the last round. But since Comoros is already disbanded, they get six points, so we can add that up to their tally immediately. Uh, so this game technically still has everything up for grabs. New Factory can uh, win still. Of course, they had a rough start in the first phase, but then they uh, stomped Victoria. I think it was 6-0, six, uh, and then the second game was 3-2. And now they're back in it. Uh, obviously, if they, if they were to finish on uh, level points with Victoria, they would uh, finish above them because of head-to-head -head difference in the league. So uh, this is mostly uh, for New Factory here to just uh, get points against Endgame and um, to, m to make the life tough obviously for Endgame as well because they, they could be seen as the direct, uh, direct opponent for New Factory right now. Yeah, I think it will be a balanced match. I mean, in the New Factory side, we have Drozov, Levy and Kyrie. It looks like he's going to play too. And the other side we have Mukian, we have Hobbs, a great defender, we have Kapi, Alexis Souza, Blue. It will be an interesting match. Yeah, absolutely. Um, right now I'm having some problems. My TPM match view is not doesn't want to show up in OBS. <laughs> 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 I had this uh, trouble previously as well. I don't know why it doesn't register at all. Okay, there it is. Uh, we can switch over to that now. And ah, um, yeah, I'm going to be switching to the game as well. Now we can go over the lineups then as well. Like you said, New Factory has all the important players present. I think I heard like a rumor before that Levison wasn't going to play, but he is here. Uh, Drosd of Kiro, obviously, in defense. Aguero in goal, a very reputable goalkeeper for uh, by now already. He has uh, won the title of the best goalkeeper of the year. Uh, oh really? 2021, really yeah, that. for Europe. So, um, Mlody and Kyrie, I'm guessing they're going to be the wings. They've been very good for New Factory. Mlody brought in during that period of time when they had inactivity again, and uh, so far he's fit, uh, fit in the team pretty well, I think. And Kyrie, he's just a pretty, pretty decent attacker for them. He's been obviously he has a very strong stance against human goalkeepers, but. Uh, still actually does very well against them, so uh, that's that's just his mindset. Mlody is someone new on the team, because Mlody was on other teams, uh, including uh, Victoria, where I play. Yeah, he, he transferred from Victoria uh, mid-season. I think he was um, just like at the end of the first phase endgame now. They are going with a human goalkeeper as well, Kapi, who did a very good job for them in the SL Cup, but uh, it was just tough for them, Endgame still uh, losing out, and uh, Victoria took that uh, took that mid-season cup, but Kapi did very well in goal there, we remember that great uh, penalty series, I think there was, and um, yeah. Hoffs, McKeon, Pio, Alex, and Blue, a very classic Endgame lineup actually, Alex had a, had a time away from Endgame, and uh, from that team, but he's back now, and obviously he's a very mighty, mighty player. I mean, uh, he played with all these players, I think, in Snazzy together. So, uh, Alex was this from the times of Net Soccer, so he yeah, already has many, true. many experience. Yeah, I think so as well. Uh, it's tough to say who's exactly uh, going to be the defenders there. I'm guessing Alex and Hoffs. No, I'm sorry, Pio is there as well. So we could very well see Alex Pio defend Hoffs maybe on midfield. But I feel like Hoffs uh, and Alex can switch the positions. Um, Kian's obviously going to be the attack. So Endgame th does have a lot of defensive-minded players there. So uh, I'm interested to sure. see how, their, how that attack is going to be. For example, we don't see uh, Justin Bieber here. So uh, yeah, it's a bit different from like their their maybe usual usual play. In my opinion, I think the best defenders for Endgame to play in this match uh, 
are Alex and Blue. I think Hoffs and uh, Piltrek uh, should stay on uh, as midfielders. I, th I, th I think Alex and Blue are most offensive players. Yeah, that's are the, true. Are the best think... players are the best player for for those positions. Absolutely. I mean, I think we I think there was a very famous solo run Alex did. I think they were still in the TPMFA times. He's a very good midfielder. He has yeah, very good positioning. Uh, very good. Uh, very well avoids tackles. Avoids all the players. Um, and he can cause a lot of chaos there. I think he's going to be a very good, uh, very good uh, substitute for Justin Bieber is missing. So I'm going to have to see. This is, a, this is a very, very strong contrast. Obviously, we're seeing Endgame doesn't have any large players. Uh, Drostov still on the usual medium, but nothing, nothing too crazy here. For example, we've seen um, we've seen not a lot of Sepsiak this season. I think he hasn't played even once. Maybe during the first phase, who pretty much won the title for par seven. So um, yeah, I feel like the the short era we had where large players were just uh, messing up the game is is now just slowed down a little bit. Also, I'm sorry that um, in the in the stream um, I have a little graphic where <laughs> I was uh, I was in the studio. But I didn't have the Marcus uh, Marcus Bright because he joined me so unexpectedly. <laughs> oh, and obviously, actually, we're facing little technical difficulties as well. Marcus is uh, currently away and he's reconnecting. But uh, yeah, we should be starting very soon, as you can see. Most of the players are ready. Not a lot of uh, substitutes available for either side. I think Endgame does have a Hans Krankel now on the bench. But there seems to be there seems to be no one else really. New factory as well, you know, they've had that uh, difficulty with activity, so it's probably uh, going to going to be just these teams battling it out. And um, and um, yeah, I think we are starting very soon. People were speculating that. Uh, we might even uh, we might not even see this game at all being played right now because of uh, Champions League, but uh, obviously TPM is more important than Champions League as we all know. So uh, this game is still going through not only because it was uh, already delayed, you know, from the from the last game week. Uh, we have the final round already coming up, so it's really uh, no point in uh, delaying it any further. But the game is starting now. Okay, I'm back. Just give me a minute. I'm sorry, my internet went on. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Well, you re rejoined just at the right time. We are kicking off. New factor against end game. New factor attacking downwards. I'm. I'm very sorry for the okay. stream, but I have to. Okay. I think I have to change the kits here, and okay, uh, putting ready. end game on blue kits because they have these new violet kits, and it's it's really tough to like <laughs> differentiate them from new factories players. Copy to Alex. Slow, slow build up right now from end game. Over to blue on the wing. As okay, usual. Looks like I failed my prediction. It's Alex Souza and Pio who are the defenders, right? Yeah, interesting enough. They did put Alex to defense and blues playing more on the wing. Maybe we're going to see some fluidity there. But right now, Kiro launches a long ball. Hoffs has it covered, doesn't pass it right away. Back over to Pio and to Kabi. Now to Alex. And Endgame just doing the tiki taka as usual. New Factory maybe <laughs> looking to launch some long balls. This time just finding Levy. Exactly. Typical of New Factory, the long balls. Yeah, Kyrie on the wing now. Tries to cut inside, can't really beat Blue, so maybe going for the cross. Drostov is already brought up. This is always dangerous because he's good at headers, but oh no, that was a very bad missed pass there. Hoffs cuts it away. Counter attack opportunity, but Kiro has pushed him over to the sideline and tries to stop the crossing opportunity there and does a good time. New Factory has all the players back. Drostov heads it over to Hoffs and is still having trouble. Uh, finding the idea players. was good. The yeah. idea was good. Dancing crosses are good. Yeah, but Pio's cross now goes over the back line. Nobody, nobody connected to it. Levy picks up the ball very nicely. Blue takes away the pass. It's a very nervous game so far. Alex. 
gets over from Levy, still Mlody there, Kiro as well on the side covering, he could switch flank but Kyrie is doing a pretty good job uh, covering blue as well there, he does pick up the ball but can't advance really. Those four guys off New Factory are defending really well. Yeah, they're, really they're keeping a high line but they're doing a very good job pressing, McKeon does pick up the pass now and he's very good on the ball, he can easily wiggle past three players with ease, but this time he's not going for it. Uh, a lob over towards Drost, it doesn't usually work mm -hmm. out, he's still a taller player and uh, wins the header. And the game must change the strategy because like that it's not going to work. Yeah, it's very patient and like we saw last time in the FA Cup as well, uh, that patience might not be the key. Uh, no factory just gonna uh, run them over with, uh, with longer brawls if they do get the opportunity. Maybe they just find that rare chance where Levy is unmarked. Like he was now, but Endgame does keep players back, so there is no real opportunity for Levy to just camp up the pitch. Pops. Yeah, no passing opportunities either so far. You can see No Factory really closing everything down, and Levy applying a lot of pressure. Finding Pio now, and Endgame slowly advancing. It's really tough. Nice pass, nice pass. Yeah, nice pass, McKeon taken down with a foul by Kiro, he doesn't want to risk it, even though there was no real uh, danger, I think. The long balls must be precise. Yeah, Pops now just dribbles out of play, it looks like no lag as well, he just uh, short circuited there. Otherwise Kiro and Rosov will, will catch everything. Yeah, and immediately, you know, no factory trying to find the players loose up the field with the long balls, Alex, a bad job, but Alex is... Claire avoids Mlody's tackle, this is what he's good at, reading other players. Kabi pushing up the goal, but endgame being safe right now. McKeon hard to dribble past Drostov, has to pass it over to the wing, extending to Pio. Blue does a good job, nice Pio advancing, captain of endgame, is he gonna cross as well? That's a cheeky Ooh. cross, nearly ends up on the top of the goal, but it's goal wide. Oh, good cut from Levy, Kiro. Over to Levy, well timed pass. And Hoffs has to make a foul there. Mlody was, was advancing as well. Yeah. How are they going to cross it to Drostov? Very well might happen. It's just going to be Mlody on the ball. They're going to find Drostov with it. Nice and Alex cut. clears it off the line. And I guess this is just the only way to play against Drostov. You know, when you have just small players, Mlody with very clean tackles. Okay, I have dubs. <laughs> yeah, it's tough, you know. I feel like Endgame are going to be forced down on that school line a lot if they are going to be playing as passively right now. Pio does win okay, the ball. Mukian on the breakaway, nice. actually. And he nice finds pass. Mukian. It's going to be a one-on-one. -on -one. Maybe Kiro tries to stop him. No, nice Aguero. Oh. What a great pass, I gotta say. Yeah, perfectly timed. Really precise. Kiro not having enough pace to catch up, and Aguero just too short to make that catch there. And it's 1-0 for endgame, they just needed that one opportunity, one McKeon's breakaway. And that's yeah. going to be the difference for now. Gotta say, it was unexpected. Yeah. Oh, Pio lobs it over to nice Alex. Cut. Kiro picks up the ball, but doesn't really dispossess Alex, that was almost dangerous. McKeon as well was already uh, ready to take off past Rostov, but it doesn't happen, Blue has to push that out of play. Mm -hmm. Over to Drostov, tries to drop Typical. it to Mlody, no shooting opportunity, Levy maybe has it now, but no, Alex nice blocks cut. it. Drostov too short, but Drostov nice. still shoots it. Hoffs on the I wing, McKeon on the other wing, and that's a good oh, ball oh, through, oh, oh. McKeon just too long of a pass. No, it was a great pass. Yeah, it was a good. I was thinking that maybe McKeon gets to him and cut inside with it, but no, Blue... Uh, uh, okay. <laughs> cheeky, cheeky try, but yeah, McKeon wasn't running onto it, so yeah. That For McKeon's me it was goal. because I would do the, the, the same thing if, yeah. if I was uh, peel track. Yeah, but uh, that McKeon's goal is going to be the separator right now. And yep. we're going to start the second half. Although the game are winning, I think Nook Factory are playing a bit better. Yeah. Right now, if uh, Endgame, for example, uh, New Factor, I think they can afford to lose one game if they win the other, and then uh, the same happens in the final round, uh, and then a New Factory could win against uh, uh, against uh, Victoria, because that's going to come down to then head-to-head -head performances. 
angle difference levy lodi hero no factory themselves ch changing it up a bit uh, forest pace shorter passing now lodi mm -hmm. i'm sorry drosta pretty much on attack nice cut yeah Kyrie gonna throw a cross in that's a very long cross and Cappy gets it what's going on goal have, uh, i don't have much information about Cappy being goalkeeper i don't know if he's he's good a very or... good goalkeeper he's uh, for rogue he was already a second goalkeeper after riku when he took a pause Kyrie blocks blues header and so far yeah he's been kind of i think number one right now for end game in goal he did a very good job uh yeah. in the super league cup a nice breakaway. Now it's a three on one attack. They have Ooh. to capitalize this new factory. Levy Sun, does he pass it to Mlody? Yes, he does. No, nice Pio start. blocks it. He clears it off the line. Pio, the hero. I'm clapping. I'm clapping. Was a good cut. Oh, Lord. But it was a bit too predictable, wasn't it? Mlody as well. He didn't know what to do there. Decided to just right click it and just straight into Pio. They could have done a lot better in that situation. True. I was expecting a goal, but... Yeah, Pio now nice take... Oh, track. good ball in, but Aguero's mm. gonna come out of goal and it's his prey there. Remember, it's human goalkeeper. Yeah, he has <laughs> he has all the time in the world there. Makina wasn't that far up as well to just challenge the yeah, slow speed. Haas doesn't want to put a long ball up right now. Ideally, they want to find Makian in a position where he can outrun Drozdy, but it doesn't happen very much. Kiro uh, tries to get his share as well, covering Makian. Pass. Whoa, nice cut. Oh, but Mlody with a the foul there. And lucky yeah, end game well. Looking very happy to just uh, hold the ball right now, maybe get a few more opportunities like they had, but just uh, comparable on the possession as well, McKeon. Trying to advance nice against Kiro. Ah. Kiro doesn't allow that, has to take the foul. Blue. Nice. Trying to trying to bait out some action from uh, the wing players, but doesn't happen. Cappy is he gonna throw a long ball? No, just uh, continuing with the with the short passes. McKeon, can he find Alex? No, Hoffs is free here on the wing. Mlody there to maybe challenge him. Mlody, well, Blue was free for a second, but there is Drosdom in the way. Of course, he can't throw a long ball in there, hoping for something. Okay, Levy, oh, getting... a good cut oh. there from Levy. Kyrie doesn't find a place to shoot. Drozdov tries to make space for himself, but still no opportunities. And it's headed clear. Kiro back into action. Kyrie, and uh, still no opportunities. Kyrie's shot goes well over the bar. And game are playing with high risks. Yeah. As you can see, many passes in defense. And Ooh, Hoffs opens up, wrong. it's not offside. Hoffs has a lot of space, actually. Kiro is the closest player, but they are allowing Hoffs to advance. And Aguero, Ooh, does he make the chance. save, or was it the crossbar? Oof. Nice save. Yeah. I, wasn't, I, I was thinking that Hoffs was going to maybe pass it inside, but there was no other player close. Levy well, breaks Kiro, away now. Bad, bad angle to shoot from, of course but still tries to find someone, goes past Rostam, Mlody as well, under a lot of pressure. Endgame really likes to crowd the box, and it's working out nice, well nice, right now. Nice thinking. Yeah. Okay, two, two for one. It's gonna be dangerous. Blue still going. He's gonna shoot himself, but that's a weak attempt. Oh. McKeon still on the ball, passes it to Hoffs. He was free for a second, and the short mm. lob doesn't bother Aguero too much. And the ball is loose, Kyrie doesn't get it, so again game picks it up easily. Yep. Once again. And again and game playing like sporting. Yeah, end game now looking to worrying. just uh, safely <laughs> play for the lead. Blue Aguero is out too much. What is he doing? Uh... And realistically, of course, you know, in a real life situation that would be a real red card, okay. but the ref doesn't we even blow his whistle we need, here. We need... We need a realistic referee too. Absolutely, yeah. <laughs> I feel like if we'd have like at least a human VAR in action, you know, the goalkeeper oh, would be sent interest. off for this. But Mukia, no! Ooh. And I think the match is already decided. Yeah, amazing shot. Gets gets the shot in past Aguero just below him. Aguero was a bit out of position as well. And uh, Mukia doing a good job, you know. He's had two opportunities and he's finished both of them. 
Uh, that's all what you need. Endgame just being very, very serious with the finishing. McKeon once again wins it over Kiro. Happy to just hold the ball. Hoffs nice is time. free. There's still five minutes to go. Hoffs and just advancing. Pio as well on the wing. Can he maybe pass it inside? It's a bit tough. Ooh. And yeah. <laughs> The pass was a bit bad. Yeah, the sad thing is you can't really put that much power into it with a slide as well, so... That happens to me many times, but I'm a dance guy. It's yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Drozdov could be, you know, you just have to launch the ball up there, just hoping for something, but there's only a few minutes. Best they can do here is just one goal, and Kairi can't even Ooh, get that. Kapi saves it, but the rebound goes too far. Mlody inside again, Kairi, Alex blocks it off. Amazing save. Oh, Alex, what a nice stop there. Tries to play for time as well, but New Factory get it back. Drozdov, Levisan, can he get one goal? No, he doesn't. Kapi is still play. in place. Mladi, can he get it once more inside the box? Yes, he does. It's headed clear by Pio. It's already over time. Oh, it's still an opportunity right now. Drozdov with a very long Ooh. ball, and it sails over the crossbar. And it's over. Yeah, we're going to see the second game as well. Uh, the question is... Can New Factory make uh, any kind of improvements of that? Because, well, Endgame, we're just playing very fatal right now. Mm. Are they leaving? I think we're gonna I see... Think, I, I think they forgot about the second match. I'm gonna have to find the second game now. Or if they would make it, an, uh, of course that now one. means I think that well, New Factory absolutely have to win one game here. There is no other opportunity for them to win the title. No, it was just two two no. They could win the other match. Okay, they are on the other. Also, I can't. Here, Marcus again. <laughs> oh, you sent me something. <laughs> Sorry. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can see your. I can see your like um, the ring glowing. I can't hear you, Marcus. Sadly. Mm, wait a minute. That's strange. It's working. How about now? Okay, how about now? I'm gonna have to see what's causing this because I still can't hear Marcus. Maybe it's something from my side. We should be starting the second game very soon. I switch over to that. Gonna be the same lineups. Can you hear me now? I'm going to be stopping for a second here. Okay. Oh, now? And I still can't hear Marcus. This is very sad. I don't know what's going on here. <laughs> I'm going to have to... Okay, and it seems like the game has already started. Uh, New Factory currently in you attack really? against Endgame. It's going to be the same lineups here. And, you can see. Uh, I'm still having trouble hearing anything. I'm going to have to restart Discord for a second. 
because it's working here. This is really painful. I don't know what's causing this, but uh hope you can still see the game. Hoff's long attempt, but Aguero had it covered. It did go over the bar as well. Kyrie this time on attack and hits the upright, actually. Cappy wasn't actually close to saving this. It would have gone over him. But actually a positive start for New Factory. They need more of these chances and they need to finish these as well. So uh, we're going to be seeing if something changes. I don't know, can Marcus hear me or can I hear Marcus because... Can you hear me now? Yeah, I still can't hear him. This is really okay, painful. I, I don't I found know what problem. is causing this. Okay. Oh lord. Bec because I have Discord on PC connected and I have uh, Discord connected on the cell phone at the same time. I think that was the problem. I can't hear anything. <laughs> Again? Okay, looks like maybe the issue could be coming from my side, but we're still going on with the game. And uh you now over to over to the wing tries to find someone, draws down. Blue gets to it first. No Kyrie actually, but he was in an offside position. Right, and I now? think, yeah, I think Marcus is back. Apparently the live stream said as well, Ilval <laughs> commented in the live chat that they could hear you. So it must have been something from my end, and it was, I think. So, so... yeah, <laughs> so, yeah we, we did lose a bit of this match, but at least you're okay, back. Okay, looks like it wasn't my problem after all. Yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> don't worry, don't worry. Yeah. Let's get back to the we will never have a GPM stream without audio issues, I swear. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Okay, 32 minutes till oh, oh Yeah, both games have had chances and this cross comes in, but just a bit too wide for Blue. He tries to shoot still against two players, very brave, but can't do anything. Offs does find Muki and Muki and can't shoot, turns inside, Drostov right. already there. And uh, this goes over everybody. I don't think the factory are improving that much. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, nice opportunity. <laughs> nice cut off, Alex. Yeah, pause now. Under a little a pressure, weird. I'm bloody close to getting the ball, but no, it goes. It was out a bit of play. weird, but effective. <laughs> yeah, Drostov picks up the ball very loose there. Could maybe drop it to Levy, but Alex is there. He's fast, and Blue uh, cuts good. away the pass. Mukian on the run. Kiro has to get it to Drostov. Yes, he does. New Factory being very patient on the attack themselves, still trying to get the possession. Kyrie Mlody misses the pass. Crosses inside. Rostov is there, and Mlody. Kabi with a save. save. <laughs> save. Just jumps into the header, and that was 
Looking, that was impressive. Yeah, looking like it was easy. I mean, the header did come straight, but no way. Oh no, what a way to lose the ball. Copy's efforts. All what he's oh done so God. far, absolutely down the drain. Levy tackles him cleanly and gets the goal. Okay, I'm starting to have doubts about <laughs> Cappy. <laughs> no factory is <laughs> taking the lead from the most uncommon position. Oh, Lord. Okay. Bloody back to Aguero now, no factory. Well, it's overtime already, and then he's just kicking the ball away. In the lead, no factory. Do they deserve it? Maybe. They did have some good opportunity to start the game. Kyrie yep. hit the uh, upper left corner of the goal, but it bounced outside. Yeah. That was probably their best effort before Ka this. Capi's brain stopped. Yeah, it was tough, of course. He didn't think, maybe he was thinking that, oh, it's going to be a foul anyways if he's going to come, but that was a clean tackle. And well well done from Levy as well, to slide it in the second time. Looking in on the wing, you'd rather have him, of course, available to cut inside, but not in this situation. Kyrie sticks to him, blue, trying to find three players, has to pass it back to Alex. Endgame going with the same strategy as well. Alex still in defense. Oh. Blue somehow gets the ball from this conundrum and Aguero with a great save from near post. Save. Yeah. McKeon hoffs. Blue once again free, but doesn't really get to do anything against Drostov. McKeon turns. Drostov tackles it into a corner kick. Blue should pass to Alex. Yeah, it's tough, it you know, they game. should pass back towards a little bit. McKeon now. Oh, is he gonna try to beat Aguero? But Kiro's there. Endgame now taking it slow, trying to find more passing opportunities. McKeon Ooh. opens up. Oh, Aguero, a good save. Where and Hoffs doesn't win the header. Can I have to see as well, is McKeon playing on a... Uh, no, he's not playing on a stronger foot this time. Both feet equal, so that's why he gets these shots in from the other side as well with ease. Yep, confirmed. Oh, Hoffs was actually close there, but still cleared by New Factory. A lot of pressure now. Levison on the breakaway tries a cross in. Pio Ooh, misses the header, but Kyrie, yeah, loose ball. Drostov, but no, no power behind that. No, oh, three on two, three on two attack Every now. Three Blue three. is free. Hoffs is very free on the other side. Can they switch it up? No, Muki and misses Hoffs. Yeah, could maybe solve this situation better. Hoffs, maybe forced to back out. Yeah. Lodi gets the ball, Levy against Pio, the race is up, it's a very bad si situation to shoot from, has to find someone to back him up. Kiro into Kyrie over Ooh, the bar! What a miss. That was the double click header there that just lobs it over the boat goal. It was an unbelievable miss. <laughs> yeah, you know, it's that defensive header, I, I do that sometimes as well in attack, and just, you know, very, very used to doing this. Blue cross in Hoffs is almost I think free. It was offside. Yeah, it was close there. Mlody doing a good job as well, covering Hoffs and keeping him in check. Levy nice passes nice. over to McKeon. Alex yeah. Mlody again, once again. Nice block, and uh, Mlody's doing a very good job as like a third defender there. Well, the idea was good. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Cross job. Long ball, and Pio still right. wins it, drops it over to Cappy. Easy for Cappy. Yeah, McKeon on the wing, does he open it up for Pio? Probably has to, but no, he tries to go for himself. <laughs> Maybe a egoistic decision there. He had a bit of luck, but... Gets a foul as well. Gets, yeah. Makes a foul as well, so Levison now on the attack, switches it back to Drosto. And uh, still obviously work to do for both sides, it's not a very comfortable lead. That 1-0, a lot of, lot of time left to be played. Mlody Good. opens up Levy nicely. Alex is still sprinting onto that ball, and he was actually mm. offside. Didn't didn't see it at first. Whoa, Kiro, good tackle, but no follow-up there. Levy was in offside position. No, it wasn't, actually. Can we go? Can we go? Kyrie, there was the Ooh, weakest was the shot weak imaginable player. there. And it was the weak shot. <laughs> oh, Lord. Yeah, Kyrie hasn't been up to up to his challenge today, missing a very good one-on-one -on -one opportunity early in this game as well. That's not the Kyrie I know. Yeah, ooh, ah, a good opportunity once again to start a counter, but just tin click there. Mlody 
Endgame with slight amount of pressure themselves the opens up Kyrie Levy doing a good job. Pio tackles Kyrie, taking no chances there. Drozdov should play a bit more offensive now. If they yeah, want Pio to at least the long match. touch and that goes over the back line. Aguero charging up for a long kick, maybe. They're trying to bait some reaction from Endgame, and it is a long ball. Floating Whoa. ball goes over Pio, in fact. How can Levy catch those balls? Yeah, and Blue takes Levy down with the foul. Draws stuff, is he gonna charge into the box? I'm getting... okay. <laughs> Ooh, that's really bad. Levy, I think they did score from a free kick in the final, if I'm, if, if I'm not wrong. So yeah, maybe he tried this again. This is from a worse position, of course. Last time around they got it from a very uh, straight head-on position. Kian. Kian is still advancing. Kyrie is very close by. So is Mlody. Nice turn there, but oh, Levy tackles it out of danger. A bit too much. And Mlody with the second foul takes a yellow card. This is just trying to slow down the attack of endgame a little bit. Ah, uh, the idea was good. Yeah, no factor. They have to be collectively very strong in defense if they want to keep this up, of course. Or if they want to keep the lead. Kiro, the pace of the attack slowed down, but the idea hasn't. Mlody plays him past Blue. Blue Oops. blocks the cross. Back to Kiro. Drostov is staying back this time around. You can see Endgame keeping a lot of players up themselves, so there needs to be a lot of uh, a lot of concentration from New Factory. Sai Mlody doing a good job. Hits the post. Goes oh wide. Levy with the slide, but it doesn't <laughs> go in. And this is going to be the end of the second game. 1-0 for New Factory, so everything's still up for grabs. And the title race is going to be decided in the last day, the 11th of September. Well... It was definitely Ooh. eventful. We are gonna have the interviews. Yeah. Okay. Oh, we're we gonna have inter. No, I think we don't have interviews. At least I think I don't have time for them. <laughs> but uh, I think thank you everybody for watching this game and definitely tune in for this Sunday then because uh, we're gonna have the important games uh, also in the championship division actually because diamonds the uh, the title of diamonds is still up as well. So, yeah, I was Reina, and I was joined by Marcus. Uh, good night, everybody. Good night, everybody.